Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Today I have one of my philosophical musings for you. The scenario for this is a fly in your house. And the question is, what kind of god would you be? But before I get to the analogy, the way this musing started was with the question of what God should have done when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden. Should he have done what he did and offered them a path to redemption? Or should he just have swatted them and been done with them? Now for my fly analogy. Flies fly around looking for poop and dead meat to eat. They serve a purpose in nature of eliminating poop and dead meat in nature, and therefore keeping it a little cleaner and more importantly, limiting the spread of disease. And that's just what they do. Their whole purpose in life is to fly around looking for poop and dead meat to eat. And they are supposed to do it outside, in nature. And when they are doing it outside in nature, everyone is fine with that. Well, unless maybe you're on a picnic, but... You know, other than that, everyone is normally fine with them when they're outside in nature. But what flies are not supposed to do is come in your house. They're only supposed to eat the poop and meat in nature, not your meat. Hopefully you're flushing your poop away before they can find it, though. But anyways, when a fly comes into your house, it's doing something it's not supposed to do. It's looking for food it's not supposed to eat. So what do you do if a fly gets into your house? Do you open a door and hold it open until the fly figures out how to go back outside and do what it's supposed to do? Potentially letting even more flies in during the process? How long would you hold the door open? As long as it takes? Or would you just swat the fly and be done with it? With that in mind, how should God have reacted to Adam and Eve's sin in the Garden of Eden? God created them and told them to tend the earth and they could eat anything they wanted except for the fruit of one particular tree tree of knowledge of good and evil. Then what do they do? They eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The one thing they were told not to do. The one thing they were not supposed to do. So what should God have done? Swatted them and wiped them out of existence? Or love them and offer them a path of redemption and a way back to him, despite doing what they weren't supposed to do? If you've read the Bible, you already know which option God chose. He didn't snuff them out. He corrected them and then offered a path of redemption and a way back to him. Well, what would you do with the fly in your house? Is this analogy a perfect analogy? No. For one, you didn't create the fly, so you probably don't love it. And two, the fly doesn't know it's not supposed to go into your house and eat your food. It's just a fly doing what it always does, flying around looking for something to eat. It doesn't know it's not supposed to eat your food. Adam and Eve knew they weren't supposed to eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they still did it anyway. That's arguably even worse than what the fly is doing because Adam and Eve knew they weren't supposed to do it. But I use the analogy of the fly to illustrate the two options you have if a fly gets into your house. You could hold the door open as long as it takes for the fly to find its way back out into nature where it's supposed to be, possibly letting even more flies in during the process and then having to wait for all of them to find their way back out too. Or you could just swat the fly and be done with it. Fortunately for us, God loved his creation enough not to swat them out of existence when they did something wrong. Instead, he opened the door back to him for those who want to come to him. What he did is probably a bit more like what we would do with a pet dog who is misbehaving, so you yell at him and put him outside for a while. But eventually you let him back into the house. God rebuked Adam and Eve and put them out of his garden, but he still offered a way back into him. So what would you have done in God's situation? Swatted Adam and Eve? or offered them a path back to you. Those are my thoughts on that. Thanks for listening.